Number three is pretty clear, pretty distinct. And at this point, hopefully you're away from this person, but sabotage to the highest level of offending your name, your representation, your work, your energy, your health, your peace, to sabotaging to little things on the side. Again, these things kind of continuously increase intensity, manipulation, sabotage. I know this sounds obvious as red flags, but it's interesting that I've seen and heard and coached so many stories with sabotaging, manipulating, and intensive situations, and they don't know what to do with it. They, they're surprised from it. They want to work through it. And like I said, everyone's got red flags, so if you're going to work through it, there's got to be some level of mutual effort, mutual awareness to go somewhere better. But if you're ignoring it or denying it or trying to do all the work to heal it from someone who is manipulative, sabotaging, and intense, you're going to be exhausted. You're going to drain yourself. You're going to lose yourself. And you're like, what was I doing? You don't need to coach him. You don't need to babysit, nurse that. It's not your job. Intensity, I can see situations where it's, it's somewhere where maybe it's not a deal breaker, but it's something to pay attention to. Manipulation, now we're talking about deal breakers. Sabotage, I don't ever want to see you again. Simple. You giving me full permission to ghost the hell out of you because you sabotage me. That's beyond bad boyfriend. That's deceitful. Get rid of them.